Hi, my name is Jason and I've been consistently journaling since September 2014, culminating in 350 pages. My friend Juan and I used a mix of sentiment analyzers, deep learning, and frequency counting to identify trends that promote happier writing and possibly a happier life. Jason wrote in three different journal formats. We combined the entries into one unified data structure to facilitate analysis across different time periods. We began by looking at the sentiment of Jason's writing. We fed his journal into NLTK's beta and found that he was overall a slightly positive and mostly neutral person. I feel as though I've been enjoying my life more with each year since starting the journal. I wanted to check if the analysis and the data agrees. And it does. I've incorporated more balance and people in my life, which I suspect has brought this increase in sentiment. Now I want to get more granular with analysis by looking at the monthly level. I found the resulting graph to fit my memory quite well. Specific details can be found in the Jupyter Notebook linked in the description. We then wondered whether the time of year affected his mood. It did, but surprising ways. He was happier during the terms than the summers. We believe this highlights an incorrect assumption we made. Entries with higher sentiments don't inform us when he was the happiest, but rather when he was the most grateful. We also expected that the more Jason wrote about people, the happier he'd be, but there was no correlation to be found, unexpected. We tried to generate Jason-like entries using deep learning, in particular RNNs and LSTMs, with limited success. So this was a pretty neat project to work on, as I was able to reflect on my last few years and recall events with an added layer of rough data analysis. Lately, I've been incorporating metadata about my days into each daily entry, Currently, there isn't much data to warrant analysis, but in the future, I'd like to perform similar analysis on this metadata.